Yaki Merit is basically a company that we established about uh, 10 years ago and uh, we basically started with a project uh, it's called Fibroblast Tissue Engineering and uh, we conducted a clinical trial and we completed the clinical trial about 4 years ago so uh, now we are in a merge of uh, building a laboratory uh, trying to market uh, this uh, Fibroblast cell into the market meanwhile we are also involved in mesenchymal stem cell uh, cultivating them and uh, trying to do some uh, clinical trial. I hope that in near future, Yakimedic is able to have their own laboratory and produce to this industry. All started about 13 to 14 years ago uh, when my father-in-law, he has a stroke and heart attack. So uh, we tried everything, including placenta injection, including uh, amino acid injections, all kinds of things, hormone injections. It doesn't really help him. But uh, with his uh, half paralyzed body, we start to inject him with a mesenchymal stem cell. So uh, after a while, about two months, we realized uh, he's recovering. So until today, he's able to walk, he's able to drink, he's able to serve himself, uh, go in the toilet, and he can drive. To me, it's a miracle. Stem cell is a miracle. That's why I'm very committed to invest into this industry. So basically up to today, we already conducted uh, all these patients and they supported the whole uh, uh, program by funding us throughout getting the products. So this is, uh, this is the business model that we are actually uh, trying to tell to our patient that we are using these uh, patients' uh, fees not only for our own uh, luxuries or for our own uh, expenses, but we are trying to use these fees to reinvest into the business. So actually, we are collaborating with uh, NUS, uh, National University of Singapore, uh, Dr. Lim Kaming, so that uh, they are planning to build another facility in Johor. Uh, the total investment is about 80 million US dollars. So that is one of the collaboration that we are looking into. Uh, second collaboration is that we are working together with uh, some hospitals in Pekanbaru and Medan so that uh, we are trying to do marketing in uh, Indonesia. So at the same time, we are exploring into Indonesia's uh, regulatories. So once we get a green light, we will invest into Indonesia to build up a so-called uh, GMP laboratories to cater for the locals' uh, patient. Then uh, we are very, work very closely with China part because uh, they are the one who come up with a lot of uh, uh, new products and also they are daring in a certain angle. We are already joint venture with a couple of universities. One is Be Beijing University and the other one is Tsinghua University. So uh, the Tsinghua University side that uh, we over the years we are very successful in the collaboration with them. Malaysia has been elected as uh, the top tourism uh, medical in uh, not in Southeast Asia but in the world. So a lot of uh, patient coming from Middle East during the summertime and then a lot of patient coming from Japan and Korea and even China. Uh, Indonesia is, uh, is already many years people coming flying in from Indonesia to seek for doctor's help. So I look at uh, stem cell is a new industry, totally new and untouched, even for Malaysia. Malaysia, we are trying to have these uh, regulatories by 2021. Our stem cell product will be registered under the government uh, law. So uh, only the few hospitals that we will work with they will enjoy so-called the product of stem cell at that time. So I foresee that a lot of patients now, they are very eagerly uh, to jump into experiencing the magic of stem cell. So uh, as we can see, the chances of success in stem cell for Malaysia is very high.